Good morning guys, welcome to another 5 minutes aviation explanation video here on my channel. In today's video we will talk about the difference between Airbus and Boeing. Because recently in my holidays I heard a lot of people saying that Boeing are producing the smaller aircrafts and Airbus the bigger ones. So to make it clear once for you and to explain you the different um, aircraft from Boeing and Airbus I'm doing this video, so stay tuned and see you in a second. She got the perfect imperfections. I know this girl depicts the blessing. I feel the need to tell the whole world. We're fine, I'm fine, I'm wrong with this message. I wish to keep it going just as. So first of all, the statement is not true. Airbus and Boeing are two different companies which are producing aircrafts. So it doesn't mean that Boeing has only small aircrafts and Airbus the bigger ones. So, but what's the difference between? So Boeing and Airbus, like two different companies like Ford or Mercedes or BMW, they are not doing the same things. So the only difference between them both are Boeing company is located in the US and Airbus is located in Europe, in Toulouse and France. Boeing has his main quarter in Chicago, Illinois, and Airbus is producing mostly in Toulouse or Hamburg, Fulsbüttel in Germany, Spain, Great Britain, China, and in the US as well. And Boeing is producing in Seattle, like everything what's good is coming from Seattle, like Starbucks and the Seattle Seahawks. But this is another topic. So, all parts are produced for both countries in different cities. To take the wings or a different part of a fuselage from one point to the end production to Toulouse or to Seattle, they need a special transport aircraft. And Airbus is using the Beluga here in the picture behind me. The Beluga was only constructed to take different parts from the fuselage or the whole wings from different aircraft and bring it to the end construction to Toulouse or Hamburg Fulsbüttel. Boeing is using the Dreamlifter to bring different parts of the plane to Seattle to the end construction. Airbus and Boeing are producing every part by themselves except of the engines. The engines are provided by different companies it's like General Electric, Rolls-Royce or CFM. So let's talk a bit about Airbus. Every Airbus aircraft starts with an A and then with a 3, except of the A220, which is actually an Embraer aircraft. So the smaller aircrafts of Airbus are the A320 family, it's the A3 18, 20, 21, and of course 19. So the, capa the passenger capacity is from 160 to 240 passengers. The bigger aircraft is the A330 with approximately 335 passengers and the A340 with 370. The A350 can carry up to 350 passengers and the biggest plane, the biggest passenger aircraft what exists currently is the A380 what can carry in a one class configuration up to 868 passengers. Airbus is producing a lot of military aircraft and cargo planes like the Airbus A330 MRTT or the A310 MRT. The MRT stands for multi-role transport or MRTT stands for multi-role tanker transport. These are the tanker aircrafts for the military planes as well. Airbus has a turboprop aircraft, the A400M MRT. Airbus is producing helicopter and satellites for the Adriana project. And of course they are working together with the EASA and have satellite and space launcher systems. So that was the European side, but let's go to the American side. So all Boeing aircrafts are starting with a B and then with a 7. So the smaller aircrafts are the Boeing 737, which can carry up to 180 passengers. The 747, the queen of the sky, is actually the biggest aircraft what Boeing has. They can carry up to 524 passengers. 
and a one-class configuration. The 757 can carry up to 295 passengers and the Boeing 767 up to 375 passengers. The 777 can carry up to 450 passengers like here the Emirates uh, airplane and the 787, the so-called Dreamliner, can carry up to 340 passengers. As well, Boeing is producing military airplanes and cargo planes. So like the cargo plane, the Boeing 7478F. The F stands for freighter, like Captain Joe is flying one 7478F for cargo looks. As well, they have the CH-47 Shinock the military helicopter for the US Army. As well they have the KC-135, the Strata tanker. That's the American tanker for the military planes in the US. As well, Boeing was producing the LRV, the Lunar Roving Vehicle for the NASA Apollo project. And a daughter company of Boeing, the Jepson Sanderson, is doing or producing very important charts for us pilots. Boeing and Airbus are two different companies. So I hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching guys. I hope it helped you a bit to understand the difference between Boeing and Airbus. So thanks for watching guys and see you in another video. If you didn't subscribe, subscribe to this channel and see you the next time. She got the perfect imperfections I know this girl that picks a blessing I feel the need to tell the whole world Cause I know some girls who miss the message I wish to keep it going just us I wish these nosy hopes were just us I got dreams to share just with you You and I got that golden touch You got like the perfect flaws You look like you deserve it all I can see